Coming up on Mountain News at 6, as water issues continue in parts of the mountains, we'll take a look at one county judge executive's plans for resolving the issue. Plus, after making an arrangement through social media, a central Kentucky man has a computer he was trying to sell stolen from him. Plus, we are tracking dry weather this evening, but rain chances are back by tomorrow. Your first alert forecast on the way as Mountain News at 6 starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. With water issues continuing across the region, officials are looking for ways to resolve the problems. Some Harlan Countyans have been without water for more than a week now. WYMT's RJ Johnson tells us what the judge executive is trying to do to rectify the issue. Ongoing water outages in Harlan County are continuing to be a burden on people, especially those using the city of Everts' water system. And when I say suffered, I mean suffered. They have dealt without. I've talked to people who not only are elderly, people who are sick. It is heartbreaking and it has agonized me for what you are going through. Harlan County Judge Executive Dan Mosley says they are looking at several ways to help this situation. He says they have requested an osmosis purification system that is operated by the Kentucky National Guard. That has not been approved at this point at the state level. However, we feel like that if we can implement this osmosis purification system, perhaps at the High Splint Lake, that it will provide the ability to inject water back into the, the lines connecting water to those living up the river. He says they have also requested a shower trailer to be put in place at the Clover Fork Fire Department. The issue that obviously you have with a shower trailer is trying to figure out how to keep the temporary water supply on to, to, to work the showers. So where there is no water within about 10 miles of, of the fire department right now to be able to tap into, we're, we're having to navigate through what that looks like. Saying they are committed to help resolve this issue. We are committed to helping them get through this. We've been there over the last 15 months in the way of distributing water. Every time there was an outage for more than 24 hours, that will continue. In Harlan County, RJ Johnson, WYMT Mountain News. Mosley says nearby fire departments are also giving away water to families. He says they changed the cap from three gallons each day to three gallons for each person in the household. If you're not sure where to go, Mosley says you can call his office or the Harlan County Emergency Management Office. Many people in the Buckhorn and Leatherwood areas of Perry County are still without water. While organizations are stepping up to help, many are frustrated that infrastructure improvements that could reduce some of the shortage situations are so slow in coming. WYMT's Phil Pendleton spoke to folks about what is slowing down the path to progress. There are large ceremonial blue checks in the Perry County Fiscal Courtroom. We still got citizens who don't have access to clean water. Nearly $9 million alone will build a new plant in Buckhorn, which was devastated by flooding in 2022 and has been without good service for more than a week. And so we're going to be one of the few communities that will actually have two water plants pulling from two different reservoirs uh, to provide our citizens water. The money is there, but it can't be spent yet. You know, when the governor comes to town, you know, and, and they present that big check, that's just the beginning of the paperwork to, to get that funding agency in line. Senator Brandon Smith says money is available. There is plenty of that to get these projects done. These projects are being tied up, though, for the number of studies that have to be done, including environmental studies, to get that money in the bank for it to be spent and for construction to begin. And it usually takes sometimes up to two years to, to get through all of that 
paperwork process. A new plant in Buckhorn will allow for the treatment of millions of gallons of water while taking the strain off the current plant in Hazard. You know, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but until those customers, you know, get to go a winter without running out of water, you know, it's, it's hard on them and it's hard for them to see. And current problems also stem from water having to be pumped 38 miles in one direction and then 39 in another. In Perry County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Now a new water plant is also being planned for the city of Hazard, but that project has not been awarded yet. We are tracking some mainly dry and cloudy weather across the mountains to start the work week. Here's a live look across the region from Buffalo Mountain to I-64 in Moorhead over in Rowan County, also from the London Corbin Airport. And as you can see, we are overcast and those temperatures also chilly at this hour. But up on the radar, most of us are dry, possibly a few areas of wintry mix or snow flurries pushing into Mingo and Logan counties in West Virginia. But again, for most of us, we are dry at this hour and more dry weather is on the way as we go into tonight. Those current temperatures are are chilly in the upper 30s to middle 30s in some areas, down to 35 in Jackson, 34 in Wise, 38 for Clintwood, also in Manchester, up to 40 over in Harlan for Harlan County at this hour. And like I said, some more dry weather is on the way as we go into tonight. Be sure to enjoy that because our next round of showers is on the way as we go into Tuesday and possibly some areas of wintry mix by early Wednesday, but some light at the end of the tunnel by Thursday and Friday. Some more sunshine on the way and also some more mild weather as well. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve. All right, Cameron, thank you. Earlier today, a hearing was held for Erica Lawson, the mother accused of killing 17-month-old Elena Hembry, who died in July. Lawson's attorney filed a motion to dismiss the death penalty as a possible sentence. The motion was originally made on Thursday. Bell County Commonwealth's attorney Lisa Fugit said her office did not receive the motion until Friday, not giving her enough time to respond. That motion is quite lengthy uh, with many things, many things that need clarified, many things are, that are very misleading and, and just not true. Uh, so the Commonwealth wants time to file a response to that. Uh, that way it's filed in the record and the public as well as the court is aware of, of the things and the inaccuracies in that motion. Another hearing was scheduled and we'll have much more about this case tonight at 11. A Pulaski County man is facing charges after police say he falsely reported an incident. It happened yesterday afternoon when deputies with the sheriff's office were dispatched to a hospital regarding a report of a stabbing. 21-year-old Andrew Stringer claimed he was stabbed in the back when he was on the side of the road. After investigation, deputies determined that Stringer had been involved in an altercation with a homeowner in Lincoln County. Officials later discovered Stringer was the perpetrator in that incident. Also in Pulaski County, a man is facing charges after police reportedly found suspected meth in his possession. It happened last week when deputies performed a traffic stop on 41-year-old Dustin Barnett. Deputies learned Barnett had an active Pulaski District Court warrant for failure to appear. Barnett was arrested and taken to the Pulaski County Detention Center. Surveillance video can come in handy when solving crimes, but sometimes the footage is grainy or dark and hard to make out. However, a man in Lexington says a valuable item was taken from him in broad daylight. The entire incident was caught on camera clear as day. Kelsey Soto has more about the bold theft. I pulled it out, then I actually got on my hands and knees and I opened it up for him and pulled it out. Earlier this year, Tyler Murphy created his own startup business, M Technologies. He fixes, refurbishes and builds gaming computers. On Friday, someone hit him right in the bottom line. He's obviously looking a little sketch, and that was going through my mind already. Take a look at this video captured by Tyler's Tesla. He's driving up into a business parking lot off Nicholasville Road to sell one of his machines. You can see someone waiting for him. The two get out, they chat, discuss details, and suddenly that person takes off with a big box. Inside is a $1,600 computer. I even offered the gentleman a ride home because it was cold, and he's like, no, I'm good. So Tyler immediately contacted police. The business, though, didn't have any exterior footage outside the building, but he was able to provide officers this footage from his car. It's a small percentage of chance that you have to take when you do meet up with strangers on the Internet. And 
you know, you have a bad actor, one out of a thousand, unfortunately, and it can happen. Tyler says the person took off through some brush and hopped into a car waiting in a nearby apartment complex. It's an experience that has cost him dearly. Try to vet that person, meet in a very safe and secure location, and just, just like I said, just be careful because, you know, I, I've learned a valuable lesson, very valuable lesson, and it's going to take me a long time to recoup from this. That was Kelsey Soto reporting. Tyler says he has sold more than 50 computers through Facebook Marketplace and has never had a problem. Unfortunately, this time he was in a hurry and let the buyer pick the location. A well-known hazard businessman has died. Bill Pollard died Saturday at the Greg and Noreen Wells Hospice Care Center. As a young man, he founded East Kentucky Carpet, which grew and was successful for the past 45 years. He was also known as a car enthusiast and someone who never met a stranger. His visitation will be Wednesday evening from 6 until 8 at Maggard's Mountain View Chapel. His funeral is Thursday at 1, also at the funeral home. Bill Pollard was 79. Well, be sure to enjoy the break from the wet weather as we go into this evening because more showers are on the way by tomorrow. Your first alert forecast coming up. Plus, an Easter Kentucky native is hitting the stage with a group of talented musicians as he prepares to bring his newfound sound back to his hometown.